Hello friends, this is what I'm going to show you today. It's a light in a city-like scene. You have a diffuse lighting here. This is done by a sky dome in Arnold. And you have that tube which lights the scene where it is. So not a diffuse general lighting but a very local light. And that's a nice thing by itself. It's called a mesh light. And the other nice thing is if, it, if I change this parameter, the light retreats and shrinks. You see how it lights now only the left part of the scene. And I can turn it back until the light goes out. I want to show you how this scene was built and not build the whole scene again. It's not complicated really, but uh, just to get you a basic feeling for the thing instead of building everything from scratch. Let's close the rendering window for now. The extrude works like this. It's a curve which used to be a NURBS circle. I just scaled it a little bit. It was round and uh, it consists of eight CVs and if you pick the, uh, the four of them and scale them inside you get this shape. It doesn't matter really for the whole, for the purpose of the thing. Uh, then we have a curve. That's a curve which I drew with this tool here. So that was the circle for the profile and this is the curve for the path. Now you create this surface by attaching the profile to the path and extruding the profile to the path. And I want to show you how I did this because it is a little bit tricky. Um, we have an extruded surface here and a light here and we delete both of them what we'll still have is the profile curve and the path. Now if we render the scene, just to make sure, we get the diffuse lighting from the Arnold Sky Dome. So that's all we have in now. Um, by the way, I built uh, this sort of landscape just by extrudes uh, from this thing, Polygon Cube and right mouse click face and use the extrude command which is here um, and move it out or push it in press the key G again do the same thing again but lift it up or whatever that's how I built this scenery but uh, the, the the more interesting thing is press F8 to get back to object mode, is the extrude here. In order to make the extrude work, you need to pick the path first, no, the uh, profile first, and with the shift key, the path as the last thing. You can as well pick different uh, profiles and one path. It will create several extrudes then. Um, the extrude is found under surfaces. It's another extrude, it's totally different from this one which we just used on this block here. It's a, it's a typical and pretty, pretty old command. It's a classical in auto design, for example. You need lots of extrudes uh, along a path or, or wherever. So under surfaces you find the extrude here and we need the option box. And I've changed several things in the option box, as you will see in a second. I go to Edit and I reset the settings. What I need to change here is I want to have a result position at the path. That means that this profile follows in the extrude uh, exactly the path. Then 
I want it to be partial. And the reason for that is partial means that the extrude is not necessarily complete. It's partial. I want to have it maybe only halfway so the the light later on will shine only until here or until here all the whole way down. That's meant by partial. And finally we can output NURPS but we cannot make a light from it. Uh, the NURPS uh, well, the light is called a mesh light and meshes are polygons. So that's the last thing we need to pick here. Now let's do the extrude. Now we have this profile curve. And the nice thing about the partial option is that now we can animate the parameter of the extrude. It's found here under the path curve. It's called a subcurve two and if we click on this icon we get um, we get this slider which slides the extrude back. Well, let's have a look at it from the top. That's the lovely mo movement we want to have. If you render it now we have that tube going until here. If we Pull it back a little bit, it goes in that diffuse lighting of the sky dome, it goes back to here. Now we need to make a light from it. We have it selected, the extrude surface. We go to Arnold and we go to Light and Mesh Light. If we had produced a NURPS surface, a NURPS extrude here, and clicked a Mesh Light now, it would give us an error message. It would tell us please select a mesh, a polygon object. But uh, now it gives no error message and we're basically already there. Let's render it again. And the interesting thing is we see something here. Something is here, but certainly not what we want to see. And there's a reason for it. The light should be visible. That's the first thing we want to do. Let's render it again. And now that's the light and we see it now. Let's push the exposure higher. What we see is we see the profile. The profile is brighter now. And if we would animate the um, extrude, which we can do now, go back here. You see that the light is here and here. And the reason for that is very simple. Uh, it's because the uh, surface of the polygon sends its vectors, so to say, to the inside. So we have to turn it round and that's found on the mesh display reverse. And now we're there. In order to get a better and stronger light, we will increase exposure or the intensity of the light. Both parameters are valid for increasing the light, the power of the light. And now you see how wonderful this light shines in the areas where the tube is and nowhere else. For example, no light here, but a lot of light here in this area or around the corner. Nice shadows, really great. And of course, now we animate this thing again. Here is the extrude. And this is the subcurve which we need. And this is the effect I showed you at the very beginning. Now the right side of the whole landscape turns very gray and diffuse. And only the left part stays bright and in light. And now the light goes back. And of course, with a maximum value of zero, it will be off. It's an animated extrude. And it's a mesh light which is animated along a path.